Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Today we return boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I hope y'all have an absolutely a fan freaking fantastic day to kick things off. But today we have a day chock full of adventure. Last we left off, we finally up. Well, first off, our base got broken into a little bit, but it got broken into so much that no, like the Raiders, our base isn't even on the map anymore. So we got a little bit of time here to prepare until we get back into the raiding ecosystem. Don't worry, I'm planning on doing a raid soon here there's some new raid mechanics at 1.7.9 we've yet to show off but first things first i want to make this puppy as beautiful and upgraded as possible that is going to take one more electronic circuit from us and a poop ton of turret parts that is why we are heading back to floor four today and probably doing it a little bit on hard mode as well to try and acquire both of those things so we're going to be doing that and uh yeah as you guys have seen one of the new raiding things is that no longer are your chests just open this actually applies for when you go to raid two you actually have to break into chests now you have to use like hatchets and stuff in here you guys can see whenever you do get raided though the good thing is you can just repair the chest just like that it's not too fine it gets broken into some things might be missing but it is it, i don't know it's a cool little nifty feature like that but it does make raiding a little bit harder because you do need hatchets to break into other people's chests and whatnot so if you are raiding until i show off until i showed off a little bit more just heads up make sure you're bringing a little more of those but we got something amazing all right i'm sorry this taking a while but we've been caught up in the craziness of update 1.7.9 hitting and we haven't had a chance to talk about this week's q and a so without further ado let's go ahead hop in the overworld and uh hold on i gotta pour some gas in this puppy <laughs> let's get to talking about the 10 questions and 10 answers kofir chose and provided this week and some of the awesome information that it will reveal and without further ado boys and girls let's go ahead and let's hop into number one are you guys working on a new game but the same type will this affect the progress of ldoe grim soul is developed by a completely different team not related to ours they work separately there are no reasons for last day on earth players to worry about about it because our team is entirely focused on developing our own project and keeping loyal to our fans so that's really good news that kafir here is reassuring the fact that it's like yo listen we're gonna be cooperating with uh brickworks the devs of grim soul here help them maybe like help them out like figure out the game engine because i think it's using like a similar game engine and that type of stuff but at the end of the day all development with kafir at least from what they're saying is going to continue focusing on last day which is absolutely awesome news for us last day on earth fans out here because they've seriously been knocking it out of the parks lately with the updates and dude especially with that multiplayer tease probably the promise of dogs coming soon there's a ton of awesome stuff coming but uh, i would love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below regarding this point and actually regarding every single point that we go over anything that you guys have an opinion on i would absolutely love to hear from y'all in that comment section and reminder that comments but you're third of the way it's the week 25 dollars at soon slash play store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure to like button and make sure you're subscribed and that will enter you in on today's video y'all can enter out every last day on earth video and what happens is every saturday we pick a random video from the past week pick a random comp from a random video and that is the winner for the weekly giveaway and today's actually saturday so a little bit later in the video we are going to be announcing the winner of this past week's giveaway make sure to stay tuned for that but like i was saying i'd love to hear from y'all regarding this and potentially other points as we continue going this q a so uh make sure to go ahead and do that and make sure that the notification button as well so don't miss any videos and any information and updates that i can hopefully share with your faces but shenanigans aside let's dive in to number two will there be any army encounters in the future you know like working with them or stealing some useful stuff from them maybe but so far the army is not ready to declare itself in full force so kind of here it's kafir kind of like teasing where it's like yo the army is 100 a faction but they're just kind of chilling they're waiting to be declared to full force and honestly my best guess for what this means is maybe we will have to wait until Bunker Charlie to encounter the army in full force because by the looks of it there's been a ton of rumors ton of like hypotheses regarding this going on for quite a while but uh, Bunker Charlie is actually like the only bunker on the map with like a green arrow above it the other bunkers have yellow arrows and other bunkers are actually hostile so people have been like hypothesizing they're like yo what if it's green because it's still friendly what if it's green because the military is still there so maybe we'll have to wait until we can get over to Charlie or maybe they'll come from charlie and we'll encounter them there but i seriously think that charlie is going to be a stronghold for military activity but like i said i'd love to hear guys' thoughts but i'm actually pretty 
I, I, I like that hypothesis. That one actually makes a lot of sense, but not as much sense as number three. I would like to see zombie girls in the game. Why are there only men? Why not? This is not the most difficult task and it will not distract us from the main goals. This is Kafir saying like, yeah, sure. If you guys want, it shouldn't be too hard to implement. And hopefully we'll be able to see this because that'd be pretty cool to see kind of like a variety in the zombies just because I mean, I know it's not a huge deal. It's not like a huge content addition, like a new area or something, but it's always cool just because like the more variety you see, the more like alive the world feels, you know, like the more animals you see, like only seeing male zombies. I guess that's kind of different. So if you see like a mix of males and females, that could be really cool. But uh, this is actually cool to see that kind of Kafir could pretty easily here uh, add this in as an addition. Hopefully that means we'll be able to get it relatively soon as well. Number four, at Easter, do you think of adding a giant rabbit zombie, giant zombie rabbit who is looking for Easter brains? Sorry guys, not this time. So maybe in the future, but I think Kafir has touched on this in the past. They've said, uh, actually, I think it's like in the last weekly uh, Q&A or maybe two weeks ago or something, they just said that at least for now, they're really kind of hunkering down and focusing on last day on Earth content. So we shouldn't see too much in terms of events here in the near future because they did knock out a lot of like the big events and whatnot. But uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you do end up getting some events eventually too. But it's, it's really good to hear that Kafir is focusing on the content. So hopefully we can get awesome stuff such as multiplayer. And after we got that little tease of multiplayer a couple, a couple days ago, maybe a week ago or so, mm, it just has me thirsty for more. But right now I'm thirsty for number five. Now you already released the female character. What will be your main focus next? Our main focus has always been and remains on multiplayer. In addition, new locations are also under development and something that hasn't been mentioned here, but is also heavily being worked on as we've seen from sneak peeks, as we've seen from kind of updates or like just, yeah, posts from Kafir lately. They are also 100% working on the dog as well. So from what this is saying here, it appears that the three main focuses right now are going to be multiplayer, are going to be new locations, hopefully the locations that unlock the uh, new types of ash planks, I think they are, and the new type of metal, I think tungsten, which unlock a whole ton of crafting recipes, whole ton of awesome stuff in that. But uh, maybe like other new events, just new locations in general, those will always be cool. But uh, it is just good to hear them say, like, continue reinforcing the fact that, yo, we really want to get multiplayer to you guys and dogs. Dude, I can't wait to have a dog. I can't wait to be able to breed dogs, do that type of stuff, have the most powerful companion imaginable. There's so much awesomeness we could potentially do with that. But uh, still very good to hear that they are continuing kind of hunkering down on multiplayer and new locations would also be pretty... Uh, pretty bueno. Number six, will there be in-game drinks that replenish injury? For example, coffee. Nothing prevents us from doing this in the future, so this is kind of a weird answer. This is Kafir saying that, yes, it is possible. They didn't say that they would do it in the future, but I guess kind of by answering this question, they're kind of like alluding towards that. So it'd be really cool to actually be able to craft up some of these drinks and like craft up items in game that replenish your energy. Maybe not like back to 100%, but imagine, you know, being able to like get some coffee from somewhere. You have to grow it or whatnot, and then you can use maybe, I don't know, a fire. Maybe you have to use like some kind of special structure that you have to build, and then you can craft this drink that will replenish like maybe like 10, 20 of your energy, and then be such a cool in game way of not just having to like use coins to get more energy or weight but literally having methods through the game where you can acquire more energy and continue on with your adventure i would really really love to see this one in game and i'd absolutely love your guys opinions on this one this is a really big one it's not super emphasized in this q a but absolutely i think that this could be huge and it could be an amazing addition to the game the ability to craft up certain beverages or even uh foods that would allow our energy to kind of slowly not slowly but like replenish a little bit that'd be freaking awesome dude number seven will you expand the options for customization of the character yes we are planning to gradually expand the options for customization of the character so pretty great news here customization was added in 1.7.8 wasn't the craziest customization but still it gave us like five different faces five different hairstyles boy girl ability to have a beard so a couple of options there so it's nice and nifty a little bit unique but this is cool to hear Kafir say that yeah we are going to have more options coming so we'll be able to be even more unique and express ourselves even more and especially with multiplayer coming when we'll actually be able to see each other's models I think that would be maybe maybe they'll like time those together maybe with the multiplayer update they'll even add in like new customization who knows but definitely by the time multiplayer hits like being able to distinguish people and look unique now that is going to be something a fan for fantastic number eight you guys added a fishing rod about four months ago but you don't seem to intend on finishing the usage of the fishing rod how come did you guys just give up on that project altogether fish 
fishing is a nice feature which was designed to diversify the core gameplay not to change it we did not give it up it's just not the most important thing that is expected of us right now so it's kind of like kafir started work on it but then other things in their roadmap of things they wanted to add to the game came up and they are prioritizing other bigger systems right now like for example the dog for example a multiplayer new location that type of stuff so it's definitely still in kafir's mind they know that it exists but they probably need to add in they still gotta do like the right location for it gotta add the mechanics so there's still a little bit of work to be done but it is very nice to kind of reinforce the idea that yeah fishing is a still coming just kind of pushed aside to focus on some of these bigger things especially probably the ones that they touched on a little bit earlier in the form of new locations multiplayer and then what they've talked about before in the form of dogs but dude yeah the new locations especially because you kind of need a new location to be able to fish i feel like especially at, like hidden a uh, hidden dock up north potentially that could be a location man that seems like the type of place that would be a location but what do i know i just i just to play games on my phone and talk over it you know <laughs> number nine will we be able to upgrade the chopper or at least the chopper storage anything other than paints maybe i've actually talked about a really awesome idea for this and this is kind of cool to see kafir being open to other potential upgrades like this but uh one upgrade that i've always schemed about would be an upgrade to the inventory of the chopper right now once you get the chopper that's done but i would love to see the chopper actually be something that's upgradable especially with kafir seemingly being open to upgradable things such as the turret it would be awesome to be able to upgrade the chopper maybe to be more efficient with the fuel storage that could be like one thing you could try upgrading it with maybe uh more efficient like you, you can hold more maybe like you can expand it or even maybe you might be able to craft or through some form of quest you might be able to acquire some sort of a box kind of like the infected box that goes on the back of the chopper but instead of like carrying it around it gives you like maybe an extra four inventory slots or something reasonable like that that would be huge and give you even more room for your loot runs and honestly even allow you to stay away from home even longer which would be pretty awesome but i'd love your guys's thoughts for potential chopper upgrades but i do think ones such as uh how the fuel efficiency and what it carries would be two pretty big things that i would absolutely love to see and finally number 10 will pets have a leveling system in some ways yes but it will be different than the usual ones so it does not look like we are going to be leveling up from level 1 to level 99 but we do know that dogs are going to actually have a skill slash perk system because when you go through the bunker we'll probably show us off a little bit later in the video too when we actually head over to the bunker try to do some progress but uh they there's actually like certain doors say you require a dog with this skill true friend and that allows the dog to like go through certain unpassable passageways so Honestly, just by the way that that's worded, it seems that there are going to be more perks and more skills that we can acquire. And they're saying it's not going to be, it's there's like a, it's going to be a different leveling system than what we do. So instead of leveling up, the only thing that comes to mind is maybe you have to breed dogs and maybe you have to breed certain dogs. And like maybe the skills that they have can be transferred through breeding. That is, that's something that could potentially happen. Maybe it's just like some sort of weird leveling system. Maybe that's all that they mean. But uh, I don't know, but I cannot wait to get my puppers some awesome perks hopefully make them very powerful to fight off the enemy maybe you know make him a little puppy backpack give him give him a couple things to hold on to that'd be pretty awesome dude and uh i just i can't wait to have a dog companion i'm seriously so excited about that but with that that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for the q a for this week 10 questions covered 10 answers covered hope that you guys did enjoy if you did hit that like button and make sure to enter the giveaway while you're at it because i would love to hear any or all of y'all opinions regarding this entire q a because there are seriously some awesome points that we could definitely further expand on and with a ton of creativity that could be applied to them but with the q and a topped off and with me just uh, shamelessly finishing plugging the giveaway i know <laughs> why don't we go ahead and actually announce the winners of this past week's giveaway i think that's a perfect time for us to go in and do that so huge congrats to the randomly chosen video where we encountered the new diseased wolf for the first time in our quest for getting our turrets up to level two a quest that has come to fruition and now we struggle for the level three. Ooh, boy is that level three a struggle though <laughs> but uh, that was the randomly chosen video and huge congrats to golden foxy i can't wait until your new last day and fortnite vids come out so golden foxy congratulations on winning the giveaway go ahead and go to your inbox you should see a message from me if you don't know how to get there should be a link either in the description or in the pinned comment one of those two go to that link reply to me let you know if you want it. let me know if you want android or i was and i'll make sure to get that to you absolutely asap and to everyone who did not win i apologize since Sincerely, I wish I could absolutely just dish out gift cards to every single one of you guys constantly, but there is a limit and we are doing that on a weekly basis. But 
no worries y'all have a brand new opportunity starting today so go ahead and get to it just like we are going to go ahead and get back into some adventure and with all of that said and done as you can see we got bunker elf over here that we gotta go and give a quick jog to maybe if we're lucky a new oak event will pop up as well we might try and pay a visit to that but right now priority numero uno is to try and take down the rest of floor four we're almost done with uh, we're right around halfway done with the floor four but we've gotten through some of its hardest part but still there are still some great opportunities for us to head into there and hopefully get our grubby little hands our grubby little nubs even <laughs> uh get our hands on some additional turret parts and other turret things such as sensors but let's be honest mainly the parts because right now we need 50 more turret parts all right sometimes best case scenario a turret drops five turret parts right so we're gonna need a lot of luck that's why i'm gonna have to ask you boys and girls to start crossing those fingers crossing those eyes cross what you got sit in the crisscross position all right, we need some dedication right now. And we also got enough tickets to go ahead and plop on open the green and yellow ticket crate, something we've kind of been putting off a little bit, you know, just a wee bit, but hey, Listen, we can open it up. Maybe we get lucky, get some more engine parts. That stockpile continues to grow, which is absolutely amazing news. And uh, maybe if we're lucky, we get a couple more weapons for us as we continue diving into here and the hardships of what this floor contains. But uh, this also means that we actually have to take out some of these zombies because uh, like this guy, for example, actually, we might not even need to take him out. We just can, he, he can sit there. He's just over there staring at a door. Hey, he's not doing no harm, right? Ooh, let's go. Today's gonna be a good day, boys. We already got a freaking engine part. Let's go. We're gonna stockpile the best stuff that we got here. We're actually gonna start stockpiling it into the second one that we get. Also, probably grab the jerky for if and when we do get hungry. Do you want to give me an engine part too? Maybe two of them? Uh, not too much. Okay, I respect that. No worries, dude. No hard feelings. All right, you already gave me one engine part in the green ticket crate. I can't be salty. Dude, we've been getting a lot... R rada I, rada 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 schnitzel <laughs> we've been getting a lot of engine parts and green ticket crates lately though which is kind of crazy but at the same time kind of totally amazing so i'm stoked with that let's just go ahead and stockpile a couple of these goodies uh I'm, we're not gonna grab everything here we'll just put a couple of things away i do want us an inventory room for us to like progressively pick stuff up as we adventure through this floor for example but uh what i do want to probably bring with us is get a little bit of that jerky so we got a little bit of a secondary healing item for more smaller heal amounts and so we also have our hands on some food because i have a tummy that grumbles quite often so uh, <laughs> and after we finish floor four we probably need to go back up to floor three and floor two to try and take out the turrets on those floors because those do have a chance of dropping five turret parts for us as well and like i said we need to take every opportunity we can so i do want to do that before we dive on into hard mode and after this hard mode actually i think we're gonna be ready guys and gals i think hold on i think we haven't been looting these either so we can take a chance to do that but i think after this hard mode we will be able to head to the floppy disk or whatever floppy disk we get head to the coordinates it gives us and cash in on some of that loot and ooh, 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 am i looking forward to that because if all goes well there will be an electronic circuit coming our way and we are in desperate need of said circuits but as you can see last thing we did is we took out this chair we even left behind this chest here so we got a little present for today that's how you start today off right you just open up a chest and get some copper out of there dude everyone could use a little copper bless up to floor four for dropping copper though like don't get me wrong floor four this seems to be a pretty big opinion uh, across you guys i totally agree with that opinion as well floor four is hard but at the same time at least it does give you the rewards of turret parts a lot of turret part opportunities actually but also copper bars steel bars aluminum the loot that this floor drops is way better than the loot drops of two and three but if, but the, the best stuff you're gonna get from the bunker is usually gonna be from the green and yellow ticket crates anyway but with all of that said i might, I might as well just grab those we're probably gonna need those at some point let's whip out the shotgun raid and we're gonna have a couple of opponents here then we gotta go and give him the shotgun rain. Hello, flows and bloater. Hello, numb zombie. How do you do? Shotgun rain says hello. It's a you, frozen bloater. You want a hello from the shotgun rain? No worries, buddy. I'll say hello all over you. All right, with that cleared up, we do have the one last room to take out. Let's not stay in here for too long. It's not. Hey, look at that. We didn't get stabbed. Ain't that a first? Let's try and take out this frenzy giant as quick as possible, too. Let's make sure that we don't start freezing. Oh. Please don't stab me. Spike ball things. Oh no, I'm freezing here. Oh no 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 no
I wish he was taking damage, dude. He really should be taking damage. Let's get out of there a little bit. Let's use that and eat some bacon. We're starting to get a little bit hungry. And Mr. Frenzy Giant, I'm not going to finish you off with shotgun rain. You know what? I don't think you're deserving of shotgun rain. You, my friend, get to die by the pistol drizzle. Not as epic as shotgun rain, I know. But that's what you get for trying to go up against me, bro, chacho. Yeah, I will not allow such thing. Oh, dude, my phone stuttered a little bit there as we were going through the maze of meat bags. And it's not the place where you want your phone to go down on you, all right? Well, no, not th to, to give up on you. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that's not the place, though. But knowing my phone, that is exactly the time that my phone would give up on me. Why? I think my phone just likes to troll me, dude. It has to be a thing. There's no way that it isn't at this point. <laughs> All right, Mr. Turrets, how do you do? I got an AK. What's your name? Spray painted all over. We got the custom skin in CSGO, baby. What you gonna do? Nothing. All right, you're gonna die when I tell you to. Because I told you to. And look at that, you died. AK, I'm a, I'm a physician. No, a magician. No, a psychic. That's the word I'm looking for. All right, you turret. You gotta to. You gotta go to, buddy. I'm sorry. You can, just give me turret parts as a going away present. Can you do that for me? Can I get some turret parts? Uh, no, not out of you. Maybe your friend, though. Maybe he's actually a good friend. This guy right here. This is the homie. All right, everyone needs a friend like this turret out there. This turret is just a great upstanding role model. 10 out of 10 would murder you in cold blood or cold steel, I guess, in this case. Again, yeah, nothing too great out of there either. But, yeah, you know, a couple of things here or there. It could be worse. It could be better. Uh, what is in this room? I think it's a bunch of toxic abominations. Not abominations, bunch of toxic spitters. Okay, so it's a bunch of toxic spitters. I think the pistol might be a pretty good method of taking them out because it's going to take five shots anyway. So we are using the quote unquote worst gun. I mean, I can count the zip gun though, but we are using like one of the worst ranged weapons here to clear these dudes out. But hey, it will give us a good opportunity here to not waste any damage because that's what I hate. Like when I'm using a shotgun, get a dude down to 10 health or something. And it's like, ah, well, I got to finish you off with shotgun rain if I started you. Except that frenzy giant, that frenzy giant did not deserve it. So I guess I can just finish you off really quickly. Toxic abomination. You're not getting another hit off on me anyways. And I ain't getting that, that, that either. Um, why don't we just eat that up? We'll start stockpiling the green tickets. If I find yellow tickets though, those will definitely take priority at least until something. And actually, I'm pretty sure some of our inventory is about to break. So yeah, uh, we do. Well, we got a frenzy giant up here. We got to deal with. Let's use the shotgun to deal with them. Let's let's use our noggins here. All right, it's not often they will use our noggins here at Star Snipe Daily Videos, but today might just be one of those days because uh, frenzy giants are slow AF anyway. So we should be able to slowly and leisurely use the rest of our shotgun rain. Apparently, make the frenzy giant go freaking crazy with 360s. Uh, use that up, and then we can switch over to the pistol we've been using. Use some durability on that, and hua cha cha cha! Look at that. Not a single bit of damage wasted, and we already got a new slot for that of exactly which we desired. So, we can open up this chest. We got a chest up north to open. We got a heavy turret that I got to burp, and then we got to go and take out. Ooh. Now the band-aid, I will keep that in mind. Uh, let's go ahead and open this puppy up. I know you want to give me some good chest, all right? I'm, I'm a good dude, you know? I, I, deserve, I deserve better than batteries. Come on, dude. What are those, double A's? You can at least hook it up with a triple A. I'm worth three A's. Come on, man. Uh, all right, let's use the rest of our AK on this guy while we can. And then these are the heavy turrets, though. They do they take way more to take out. But we should be able to do a solid chunk of damage here with the AK. Just got to be careful not to hold the button too long because then our dude decides to go freaking Mike Tyson on a heavy turret. All right, listen, I don't care if you are like Floyd Mayweather. All right, that dude would catch his first L against the heavy turret. I'm just saying, your yeah, odds against one of these things are not good. Uh, it sucks though because rifles do not do a lot of damage. Like we'll probably end up eating through the entirety of this weapon too and we'll probably have to kill this heavy turret with something else. That's how crazy powerful these things are. But hey, we get turret parts out of them, so I don't care. Even though I think that these guys drop less turret parts than normal turrets do. Like, I pretty consistently get five turret parts from normal turrets. These guys, dude, it's probably closer to, like, a two to three usually. <laughs> like, heavy turrets are kind of disappointing. I do get heat sensors more from them, but still, if you're looking for solely turret parts and you want to kind of save your weaponry, I'd say don't even bother with the heavy turrets, dude. They're, they're a bit tough in that regard. But... Uh, 
And this guy, not only is he dead, he is also guarding a chest that we can acquire, but he had some turret parts. And listen, at this point, I got enough guns. I don't mind, you know, using a couple extra here to take out these guys. Acquire some goodies while we're at it, but uh, do some damage to these guys when we can. Honestly, uh, hold on. Have I used the med kit? No, I haven't. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, why don't we? I got plenty of aluminum wire back at home. I'll be back for you, maybe. Get two aluminum wire, but I definitely I value one copper or more than aluminum wire. All right, because we got a huge stockpile of aluminum stuff. Uh, copper, dude, we blow through that as fast as we get it. Like we have a small stockpile, just kind of as an emergency fund. But definitely, I, I would I would not mind having more. All right, you dudes and dudettes, get over here, frozen bloat. I got a shotgun, rain. What's your name on it? Oh, and this numb zombie, he wants some too. He's trying to protect his frozen bloater. Papa, sorry, dudes. He's got to go. Oh, just like you guys, apparently. I I I'm very sorry I had to spew your legs all over the place, but that's what you get trying to go up against the boss like Ricky Rose himself. Yeah, that's me, Rose. I don't even know what I'm saying. All right, just trying to go with the flow and flow a little bit. And this hallway of doom. I'm not looking forward to this because this hallway is the worst hallway I've ever seen in my life. It is like impossible to dodge these things, honestly. Um, do we have any band-aids? No. We'll probably have to use a first aid kit. Honestly, I just I just take the damage, dude. I'm not trying I'm not trying to deal with these guys. Alright, and then we can take out these numb zombies before they get a chance to do any damage. And voila. We're in good business. We can put that puppy where it belongs. Let's equip a shotgun. Honestly, let's go with the full quality shotgun. Let's eh. Why don't we go with the pistol? Try and do as much damage to these guys as we can. And then there is gonna be a frenzy giant we gotta deal with, though. That's what I'm not looking forward to. Yeah, you can already see him running after us. Maybe we can kill him before he takes us to the hallway of doom. Because if we start freezing, that's bad news, bears. Oh, please, please, please. Oh, took you out before I started freezing my patoots off. Actually, doesn't this thing, like, randomly out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at the timing on that. This thing just randomly sprays out coldness. That sucks, dude. I hate becoming instantly cold. But... Uh, with that, floor, 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 fourth floor. Dude, the number four and the floor, they're just a little bit too close for my tongue, apparently. <laughs> this one is finished before we hit that terminal to open up the final loot room. Let's see what this shelf has for us. Uh, nothing too great, all right? I've learned to expect that. It's like there's certain chests on this floor that can actually have the really good loot, it seems like. And those chests, 100% are these two puppies here and the turrets turret parts that's that's my version of really good loot and oh, <laughs> that's what i like to see and those are the things what is that a steel bar some copper bars some more copper or to boot we're walking like what is that we'll, we'll probably have like that's around a copper bar there maybe we'll get some more copper in this next chest Dude, we're walking out of it with like four to five steel bars worth of copper that's amazing like maybe we got to put some aluminum into them and stuff you know like refine it but copper which is the hard thing to get we got about fives worth and ooh, let's tally that up even more boys yeah easily add two copper ore to that we're walking out of here with a steel bar three copper bars and enough copper ore for another copper bar which means we got five steel bars and five steel plates coming our way god that is the one reason that i freaking love this floor dude it makes it rain absolutely rain like i gotta go get an umbrella get a raincoat at this rate the rain is too heavy it's just making it rain all over me and i love it but uh anyways we gotta go and take out this turret see if this guy maybe has something for us and we gotta take out the turret on floor two and then we must go and activate hard mode and most likely stay a little bit longer in here because uh, yeah, dude, hard mode's starting to get a bit of a doozy. I'm probably going to start try and do a little bit of hard mode on my own some as well, just because I tend, I'm trying to, like, kind of keep the hard mode that we're showing off here. Trying, oh, dude, I'm out of bottled waters. But I'm trying to keep it mainly to, like, floor four and stuff like that, since that is, like, the very new stuff. So I might just try and grind that out a little bit in my free time, make some progress on that. Uh, we should be able to take these guys out. We got the one floater blower coming at us, but we got the pistol, which should hopefully have enough juice left in it. All right, did not have enough juice left in it. Hopefully that one's got enough juice left in it to take that guy out. Acquire some tickets along the way. Always much appreciated. Maybe some water for my thirsty booty. Listen, this booty is thirsty. It ain't gonna hydrate itself. Hook a brother up, Mr. Fridge Pantry thing. Mm, that's what I like to see. Let's go ahead and chow down on that. Make sure that we're 100% hydrated. And we got these two dudes. We got to clear through as well. So sorry, dudes, but you got to go. Actually, why don't we take out the toxic spitter first? 
Just to make our lives easier, we're gonna walk up right to him. Pop, 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 that's what you get. What for, I don't know, loitering, dude. This is my land, don't loiter on my land. If you do, I might just need to sneak up in the most non-sneaky way imaginable and put a bullet to your head. Something like that. I don't know, dude. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's use the rest of this rifle. There should be enough for us to take out this turret. And this rifle might just have enough durability for us to take out the turret on floor two. And if things go well, maybe... Dude, I've never... Have you guys ever had this turret drop anything for you? <laughs> like, every time. That turret has not yet one time dropped anything for us. The turret on floor two has dropped stuff, but Mr. Floor Free... Free turret over here he's like oh no i'm too good to drop parts like i can't do that but yeah okay dude i need you to start doing that though all right i need me some turret parts and you're kind of depriving me of my needs so uh hook a brother up will you please and thank you <laughs> god dang dude this turret the turret struggle is real but i really do want to at the very least get one of these turrets up to level three and then from there i mean the level three upgrade is really expensive even the level two upgrade dude it takes an electronic circuit that is expensive as soon as we get our level three turret done i i think i'm just gonna be more than happy to get just build the three other level one turrets like we'll have the piece de resistance you know the piece that makes everyone jelly all right in the form of the one the one level three turret probably protecting our best stuff but other than that dude uh, i'll be happy with level one turrets dude these upgrades are just crazy crazy expensive unless we start getting a little bit more on the lucky side with uh i don't know circuits electronic circuits maybe when we go out on a raid maybe we get some floppy disks Ooh, that might be the dream i remember when, dude i found like one floppy disk one time in a raid that might have been some of the hypest raiding i've had so far but floater bloater you gotta go it pains me to say so but i must say so goodbye to you goodbye to your toxic spitting buddy i have a path i am leaving a ravaged path behind me you know why there's one thing i seek and it's the dead parts of turrets i know i'm truly an evil man but i don't care i only care about the turret parts so see you later floater bloater thanks for playing the game unfortunately you lost it you lost extra hearts you didn't drop me anything you dingus at least he dropped some and it's a green ticket but still he dropped something and actually dude we're starting to get pretty close to having 30 red tickets which is really good news because we've been the red ticket grind has been a bit of a struggle we haven't been getting it out of raids or anything either so it's been kind of kind of poopy in that regard uh but we can go ahead pop this open activate the gas and our salvation lies on the other side that is right hello my turret buddy I hope I got- I think I should have enough M16 to take you out. Please, 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 drop the turret parts. Do me a homie star favor. Can you do this for me? Ooh. 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 Yes, let's go. That's what I like to see. Give me that. Give me that. Give me the turret parts. Yeah, I'm telling you. Level 2 turret constantly drops it. Level 3 turret yet to drop it so i don't know what's going on there if you guys know what's going on i'd love to hear from you guys because i i detective star over here obviously i can't figure it out this is it's a too high level for me thank you for the red ticket though that is very kindly appreciated uh so with that said we've gotten the turrets let's activate hard mode so we can do this all over again but instead of picking up tickets uh, and instead of things being kind of easy are gonna get a significantly harder and b if we'll be picking up dog tags the personal effect thingy my bob capsule things I, I still don't know what those are and the notebooks which we should be able to put towards something awesome in the form of a floppy disk and probably we maybe even try to take on the big one because that is one of our current raiding quests so that shouldn't be too bad and i think that what are our other two quests i'm trying to think back and you know it'd be so handy you know what i would love to see if the devs add in something kind of like uh something like a piece of paper like you know when we were doing like stuff with mulan or whatever and we had like a piece of paper i'd love to have like a piece of paper even just like a quest tab that could let us like keep track of like the tasks and stuff that would honestly be the greatest greatest thing it'd be so handy so easy to implement actually i don't know how easy it'd be to implement like an entirely new tab but still It'd be so amazing just kind of like keep track of stuff and really dude we're getting close we're gonna be hopping onto that train today but right now you must hop on to the train of hard mode 
and we'll go ahead and actually dive into those hard mode shenanigans next time because I am really sorry that this video is coming out so late and I want to make it as quick as possible for you guys so I, we can't have a super long episode today but no worries we'll go ahead we'll conquer hard mode after all we came here kitted out with tons of weapons we still got more weapons to pick up too and I think we're ready to go to war with the bunker floor four and kind of floor two and three if we want those turf parts, but mainly floor four. But that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me and for this episode of Last Day on a Survival. Wish you guys nothing but the greatest luck of joining the Chopper Squad. Greatest luck in the new weekly giveaway. Best luck to you guys there and huge congrats again to this week's winner. Make sure to message me back so I can get you the proper code. Best of luck to you guys enjoying 1.7.9 with the raids, with the raid defenses, with the oak events, with anything going on, and most importantly of all, best of luck and have an absolutely fan-freaking-tastic day, but that's gonna go and do it for me for now. Thank you guys all the time for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one, and I'll talk to you next one. See ya.